Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's uh, video, we will be discussing about the cost volume profit analysis. This is basically a method of uh, deciding which location alternative is most suitable in the present scenario for uh, any organization. All right. So let's begin with this cost volume profit analysis. Now let's suppose this is a particular situation that uh, for uh, uh, any organization there are four potential plant locations right and uh, they are and the cost of all the four locations is given to you fixed cost is given to you variable cost is given to you right now fixed cost we all know this cost is going to be fixed in any case right just like if we say we have to pay the monthly rent so that rent is going to be a fixed cost it is not going to change fine but variable cost it is going to vary as it is going to depend upon how many units are going to be produced in that in on that particular site right so we all know what is the formula of total cost total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost right now since variable cost is depending upon how many units will be produced so this will become like this we small v is variable cost per unit into multiplied by number of units now they are asking us to do the plotting and uh, we have to plot the total cost lines fine and then we have to identify the range of output for which each alternative is going to be superior fine and then they are asking us that if this output is 8000 units then according to this output which location is going to provide you the lowest total cost fine now let's see next now this i have already explained you the total cost what is going to be the total cost then next is now we have to do the plotting of the total cost lines now let's suppose if the, we do the plotting like this somewhere around this is going to be a line so when we have to draw a line on a graph we need two points minimum two points are required when we have to plot a line on the graph right now in the question we are given the fixed cost is given to us we are given the variable cost but we are not given the quantity so what we will do we will assume that let if the if the quantity is zero then what is going to be the total cost if quantity is zero that means this part is zero and when this part is zero this whole part is going to be zero so at quantity is equal to 0 if i say at quantity is equal to 0 total cost is going to be equal to fixed cost right so over here i can make a column of total cost at quantity is equal to 0 which will be 250000 then 1150 and 200 i am taking 000 as a common unit and that is how i have taken now next point what I can do is I can take quantity as 10,000 I am assuming this my friends I am assuming this quantity as 10,000 now the question is we have to assume so many people they usually ask in my class that why this 10,000 only the answer is like you can see here it is going to depend upon what kind of values you are given in the table in the table fixed cost is given to me in lakhs it is 2 lakh 50 thousand now this is per unit cost is 11 i have to multiply this per unit cost by a quantity which can be approximately equal to the fixed cost near to the fixed cost so if i will multiply by 10 thousand this will become 1 lakh 10 thousand so which is around 2 lakh 50 thousand right now Second question which comes in the mind of the students is why 10,000? We can take 5,000 also, we can take 15,000, 12,000, 14,000. So the answer to this is so yes, you can take any value. But the thing is, if you take 10,000, the multiplication factor becomes easy. 
and it is it becomes easy to calculate the values like if i say at quantity is equal to 0 my fixed cost plus variable cost it will become 360000 this will become 4 lakh and uh, this will become uh, 3 lakh 50000 and the fourth one it will become 5 lakh 50000 so you can see that within few seconds I have done this at Q is equal to 10,000. If you want to take it at 12,000 or you want to take it at 15,000, this is up to you, right? But the thing is with this, the calculation becomes really very complex. All right. So we have calculated these values and this table is shown over here also that they have taken at Q is equal to 10,000 and uh, then they have calculated the total cost. Now the thing is you have total cost at 0 also, you have total cost at 10,000 also. So we can do the plotting on the graph like this. Like on the x axis I have annual output that is quantity, on the y axis I have total cost. Fine. Now for all the four locations I have plotted these lines on the graph. Fine. And I am supposing that you people know how to plot the graph it is like for any location you will first of all do the plotting at q is equal to 0 let's suppose if it was uh, at q is equal to 0 if it was 1 lakh it will be somewhere around here at q is equal to 10,000 if it is 360 so this is going to be somewhere around here so we'll join these two lines and this will become a line for that particular location so that is how the graph is developed now let's see what the question says. My first part is done. Plot the total cost line. Second is they want, they are asking me that I need to identify the range of output for each alternative is superior. Right. So they are asking me that in what scenario, which location is going to be the best location. Now, according to the graph, the location which have the total cost minimum, we are doing cost analysis. So we would say that any location which has minimum total cost that is going to be the best location and on the graph it can be visualized that the line which is at the lowest this line is at the lowest so that means from 0 till this point this intersection point from 0 to this intersection point location B is superior because this line is line of location B fine so let's suppose this is an intersection point P and from P to let's suppose Q, location C is superior and from Q to beyond, location A is superior. Location D is not superior in any case because the line of this graph of this location is going highest of all. So this is increasing the total cost. So location D is not the best location. Now they are asking us to identify the range. So for that we have to calculate the intersection points of P and Q. Now P is the intersection point where the total cost of B and total cost of C are equal and Q is the point where total cost of C is equal to total cost of A. So what we can do we can equate the total cost equations of these locations just like this. This is the total cost location of B. This is the total cost location of C. So when I calculated the intersection point, it came out to be 5000. And when I similarly calculated for A and C, it came out to be 11,111. So that means if I say from 0 to 5000, location B is superior. Then 5000 to 11,011, C is superior. And more than 11,001, this location A is superior. So this is the range of output we can say that at which all these locations are going to be superior. Fine. Now the last is from the graph, if they are saying that at Q is equal to 8000, up Q is equal to 8000 pay the location, which location is best? Ideally 8000 is falling in this range. 8000 is falling in this range. So we can say that at Q is equal to 8000, location C is going to be the superior location. Alright, so this was all about the cost volume analysis. This we have done cost volume analysis, profit analysis we have not done in this video that we will be doing in our next video. 
if you people like this video then please do subscribe to my channel and i would love to read your reviews on this particular video thank you